the intro. Why, Mike? Why are you looking at <laughs> That's the intro. intro. <laughs> All right. Hey, guys. Welcome back <laughs> to A Week in Cubing number two, if we're going to be doing that. So we had Timmy visiting us this week for the Vegas Cubing Fall Competition that Jaden won. He really won. And you guys know that. So. Yes. So. Yes, I did. What was your average? Uh, not even like really all that good like 9.29 oh, okay yeah that's pretty good i mean it's good but like if you think about people who like win competitions normally like they're usually like sub eight sub seven so yeah it's been a very long past few weeks got really sick right before the competition so that was not pleasant mm -hmm. but at least we're good now so first thing we want to talk about well let's talk about the cube that we got <laughs> in the mail today <laughs> so we got the super the more you use super way long samples, and there's, of course, they can't just do one version. There's three new versions of it. Right. And it has a massive box, which if you could put that on screen now. So oh, yeah. We'll do. Yeah, at least we're not too into the video, so don't forget it. And then it has a, a, a very strange accessory choice. So I'll let you, I'll let you break that down. Can you really watch? You know, like Ben 10. So now cubes, they can go on your wrist. You walk around, show it off, and then... I, I wish it was like the Pokeballs in the anime, where like you click the button and it goes from small to like big. Oh. Yeah. If you can like, your cube could like shrink and then go big. Well, obviously it's impossible. That's possible. I don't think so. I think it's possible. No, not automatically, but it is the most ridiculous yeah. accessory I think yeah. I've ever seen. Definitely over the top. And the packaging, there's, there's so much wasted space. It is so full of just foam. What, well, what's annoying about it is the shipping cost. Yeah. It, it screws us on the shipping cost to import it, and it screws you guys on the shipping cost to ship it to you. So it's just, I don't know what Moyu is doing. That's their, what do we say, 22nd? Yeah, I think, think if it you came count out. All three, if you count all three versions, it's the 22nd 3x3 three three of 2023, and it's like the 25th or 26th of the Just last a year, year. Spare, uh, span, yeah. It's crazy. What do you think about all this? All, all their cubes? So too much, too many cubes. I'm getting confused as a consumer and a creator with yeah. all, all these yeah. cubes. It's to the point where I, I don't even have an opinion on them anymore, really. Like, like, I'm almost I, like afraid to have an opinion because like it's going to be outdated so fast because we're going to have another cube and it won't matter. It's just absolutely crazy. Like I, I just wonder, do they have a huge... Backlogs. They manufacture that really quickly, so th that has to have been in the pipeline, like when the RSM V5 was coming out, or before that, because to get the packaging made, all the designing, all the like the watch testing, and right. I presume they have patents on it. Right. I mean, uh, I think a patent was leaked for the watch, which is how it kind of came yeah, out. Yeah, I think that's how everyone kind of found out about it, and then there was pictures uh, shortly after. Yeah. I don't know, like, I, they must just have a huge backlog of cubes and they're just, like, just dumping them out, <laughs> like, yeah. one after another. I mean, I am hoping that's the last 3x3 three three of this <laughs> year. Of this year, yeah. If it isn't, I, I mean... Yeah, I mean, they said, or, or from what I've heard, is that this is supposed to be their flagship cube. So this is their big thing. This is the one. This is the one to get. What was the WRM V9? I don't know. It's, it's just... Crazy what more using all these new cubes. Um, speaking of new cubes and new releases, and I, I personally am not a huge fan of listing products. It's just it's stressful, it's time consuming. I re I've released a ton of new twisty puzzles lately, which is right up your alley because you pretty much that's like your bread and butter is talking about twisty puzzles, right? Yeah, non WT puzzles. Yeah, what are it. like your favorites? Uh, I made a whole video about this, and so many like <laughs> access cubes. Um, Animal cubes. Oh, uh, yeah. Know, those animals, rats, monkeys. Did you ever solve that lovebird cube? No. Well, no? That's one of my favorites, though, like to look at. <laughs> bring it Bring it next time. I'll solve it for you. All right. Tuck uh, things, you, you can know. solve that? We'll find out. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. Some of these products that I list, I just ask myself, like, who is solving these? <laughs> I should say, who besides Timmy is actually solving these? I mean, some of them are like insane. It's like it's like a work of art almost. Like those like Lee Ghost cubes. Yeah. Those are insane. Oh yeah. What's like what draws? What drew you to the twisty puzzles? Is it just the content, or do you actually like them? I like them. I bought a lot of them before I even made content. I think it's 
just interesting. It's interesting to show the friends that come over. Yeah. Yeah, I used to do cuboids back in the day, but I didn't really venture out too far past those. I think mm -hmm. if I under, because like for the solving solution, is it mostly, do you look up tutorials online or do you figure it out with knowledge so you already have? So once, once you get down the rabbit hole, there's no tutorials on those puzzles. So you kind of yeah. just have to figure that out using mm -hmm. commentators or like some past knowledge from other puzzles. But sometimes there are tutorials. One of the ones I listed actually said, there's no tutorial this time. Like, you have to find it. <laughs> so, is that? You know I, I don't remember, it was recent, I'll have to look. I wanna buy it. It, it was a Calvin's puzzle though. No. I don't get it. But yeah, there, it's just, it's crazy. So, I know I've been trying to expand it into the twisty puzzles for a long time. So I'm glad I'm finally just doing it. It's just, it's a process. I mean, you've been yeah. with me on some of those late nights where I'm just sitting yeah. there, cranking them out. It's like the, the pictures, and editing the pictures, posting them, and trying right. to write a description that's half decent and descriptive, yeah. and then the stress of me not being a huge Twisty Puzzle guy, getting the description right. So yeah. I'm gonna start writing those by you. <laughs> Aside from Twisty Puzzles, I know you're eager to talk about those magnetic core kits. Have you oh, tried those yeah. yet? Magnetic core, you know. Have you seen them? Yeah. Yeah? Have you yeah. tried it? Those, those things I think are, I think they came at like just the right time, because I. At least from what I've seen when I've been to competitions lately, is it seems like a lot more people are getting into uh, those bigger puzzles, and I think it's just because you know times are getting so fast on the smaller ones, two, three, and four. Uh, but we're getting magnetic core kits for you know four by four, five by five, six by six. I've seen some for uh, pyraminx and skew, uh, which is really cool. So. Uh, it's just making the cubes a bit more stable. I know personally for me, I like to keep my kind of bigger cubes uh, a bit more on the looser end of things, uh, just because they turn a little bit better. But with the magnetic core kit, it also adds extra stabilization. So uh, less likely to pop, less likely to overshoot, just overall better performance, uh, which I think is great. I'm glad we're finally getting uh, big cube improvements, even if it's not you know straight from the manufacturer like Moyu or Chi. But, well, uh, Diane did it. They added it in the new Mega Minx. Oh, that's true. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah, which we're still waiting on as of right now, but super excited to try it. Cubing factories are just like, some of them can be so difficult yeah. <laughs> to work with. I know Timmy and I talk about that all the time, how like, you were saying that... Um, Again? Oh, well, yeah, you can talk about that if you want. Yeah, Again, or like trying to send me products. I'm like, what products? Sorry, we can't tell you. <laughs> we just need to send you. I'm like, okay. <laughs> I don't want the product then because I don't know what I'm getting. Yeah, it's, and I know too, certain factories, like they will uh, like blacklist you if you like don't make content in a certain amount of time. Mm -hmm. And it's like, it's really hard because as the store owner, whenever I get the samples, like I send them out to some people um, and then, you know, who I'm talking about, if yeah. they don't make the freaking video for like <laughs> months, <laughs> Uh, I, I, I take the heat for it, so right. it's really tough. I'd say if you want to be a cube tester, leave a comment, but I realize that's going to open up Pandora's box, so yeah. hold, hold that thought until we get a little bit further on in this video. <laughs> We're talking about sponsorships a little bit. But I guess, like, what's your, because you order a lot of your cubes, like the weird twisty puzzles ones, yeah, and now, now, now that we have a lot of them, I know we can give them to you now, but like, do you work with a lot of factories directly? No, I just buy them off of it. Yeah. I have a lot of spendings. I know. It's like, it's funny because that's, you're partially the reason why we, I pushed to get the Twisty Puzzles up. So I'm like, you're one, you're one of the only people I know who's sponsored by a cube store that still spends so much money on cubes. <laughs> <laughs> and didn't you say at one point you used like to support the uh, cubing industry or something? I like this, yeah, I like to support like, like, if I, I care for something, I will support it by buying it. Like, yeah. I don't want a discount or anything. I just want to support it. Yeah. I guess, should we talk about sponsorships now? About the incident that you said that you actually made me aware of it. Yeah, and he also yeah. knew about it too. So, yeah, we are at the competition, and uh, Timmy, why why did you show it to me? Like, right, like did you just see it for the first time? At no, that it was point? on my homepage. Oh. And, then oh. That, and that was the first thing I saw, because it was uh, the thumbnail if I'm allowed to say, was yeah. uh, X yeah. over Speed Keep Shop. So I'm like, wait, what did they do? I'm at a Speed Keep Shop competition right now. <laughs> so I gotta know what's going on. So I showed it to Cameron. I didn't even watch the video. I just AI'd it, giving me a summary. Yeah. I showed it to Cameron. Yeah, that's like Timmy's thing. He's like AI's, like, like we were hanging out last night and I'm like, what are you doing? He's like, I'm too tired to watch the video. So I'm just gonna AI it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just read it on the video. Yeah, it transcribes <laughs> it. It's like, but, but yeah, so Timmy shows me 
this video and I instantly recognized the name because pretty much what happened is this person reached out about doing a project together. And again, I'll keep this vague to not like drag this person um, through the mud, but they, they made, they reached out to us about doing a project together. I said, cool. And then they started trying to tack on the sponsorship. And I'm like, I kind of got the impression that it was like a, like if I didn't say yes to the sponsorship, it would make things kind of awkward for the rest of the project. Right. So I was like, okay, we'll give you a code, see how it goes, because he was so sure that his YouTube channel was going to just take off, and it still might, but you know how hard it is to grow a channel. And um, we ran the code, we gave him over $50 worth of free merch, just to, again, help out. Right, right. And then the updates surrounding the original project that we started working together on were just like, I don't want to misspeak, I want to say like weeks slash months apart, and it was always like a, yeah, not a lot going on, been busy with this, this, like there was never really any updates. And I was just like, whatever, I mean, being patient, and right. I know how it is to get busy with things. Um, but I actually even saw, he, they reached out asking at one point if they were sponsored, and our sponsorships coordinator straight out said, like, you are not sponsored, on April 14th, I think it was. Just confirmed, like, you are not sponsored, but like, we're just you know, like like, like an extended trial basis, pretty much. Right, right. And uh, yeah, so I was really surprised to see him take the tactic of like clickbaiting and kind of twisting the story around and just completely dragging us through the mud right. as like the store. And then I reached out via email to try to sort it out. Never got a response. Left a comment on the video after a few days. That got acknowledgement. Then re then replied to the email. And then actually asked me about um, working together on a new project. And I'm just like, that's, I'm not going to say, like, I mean, it's just kind of like mind blowing that it's like, I, I don't know. A lot of people that ask for sponsorships just don't seem to understand like the big picture that you probably shouldn't like, uh, what's like, who want a company? Right. That, that you're trying to get something from. People forget too, there's no shortage of people that want to be sponsored. Right. There are uh, probably hundreds, maybe thousands of channels that have between the 250 and under subscriber mark, which is kind of like the hot spot of people that want to reach out and right. get a sponsorship. And it's just about providing value. That's like what I try to preach. I made a video on this whole topic. And yeah, it just was the fact that, again, that video was picking up a little bit of like steam and it's just kind of like look if we did something wrong that's one thing but when it's it's very frustrating to see a brand that you worked hard to build based on integrity and trying to do things the right way and treat people the right way and just see it just get smeared because someone's trying to kind of like piggyback off your name but i suppose right. it happens have you had any juicy drama mm -hmm. i don't think so yeah just you know make content about puzzles call it a day yeah <laughs> so what's your what Okay, while we're talking about sponsorships, I can't remember, did we reach out to you or did you reach out to us? I reached out to you guys. I think I was had, I don't know, 100K or something on TikTok. <laughs> so you waited till, yeah, 100,000. Or something, I don't know, 30K. No, I 30K, I remember, it was 30K. It was around May, I believe, 2020. Because mm -hmm. I got rejected by this Moe store or something. Oh, man, the Moe Cube store? <laughs> the Moe Cube store. Oh, yeah. It rejected me, and I'm like, okay. Yeah, well, now now they've got that's their. A, that's their surprising yeah. because they sponsor like they sponsor like other people that you sponsor now like Simon Shee before. Yeah, and that's how I why I wanted it because I knew Simon. I'm like, oh, let me reach out to Movistar, and they rejected me or well, never got back. Well, it's weird because they sponsor like anybody with like a pulse. It's these Chinese stores are just again. I'm not gonna say like there's 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 good deals out there. Sometimes it'll go well. I know you order a lot from China for your twisty puzzles. Because Twisted Puzzles, it's like, for me to stock every single one is borderline like, impossible at this point to play catch up for all these things. Right. It's like, well, it's kind of like at one point to run a tight operation, like, you know, when you were on the hunt for your Way Long series. Yeah. Like, it was sadly ironic that you were working at a cube store and you're ordering from China because you wanted to find the Way Long Mini. Yeah, I was trying to, because they had just announced the V9 was coming out and I had. 
Uh, I think I only had the GTS 3M at the time and like one, uh, I think maybe WRM 2019, I think it was. And I just kind of had the urge to want to get them all. And so uh, I was looking pretty much everywhere for like pretty much all the ones before the GTS 2M because those are, you can't find really anywhere unless you get like really lucky or like eBay or something. Yeah. So yeah, a couple of, uh, couple of stores in China had them. And I mean, shipping took forever, cost a bit more than I really would have liked, but you know. It's just crazy because like, those were discontinued. So that means they're just sitting, they've been discontinued for a long yeah. time. Especially the, the V1, what was that, 2014, before that? I, I just can't even fathom holding inventory that's that old and discontinued right. uh, for that long. And that's the thing is like a lot of these puzzles, you hit a point where it's not really worth keeping it anymore. And so with the twisty puzzles, there's so many variations. For me to try to go back to the very beginning and like stock every single one that's still active, it's just like almost not even worth it at this point. Right. So, yeah, but. Let's just copy another store's page. Like the China <laughs> store's page, you just buy every single one they have and you just list it. <laughs> Yeah, I, but see, and that's the thing is like time, and then yeah, when like yeah, these, dang it, that's the second time I dropped my new phone. Oh man, there's a story with that. <laughs> <laughs> Bumped my brand new iPhone, which I haven't had a new phone in forever, and uh, yeah, it cracked. So, yay, <laughs> no case. Shouldn't have done that. But um, I guess how are you? So, I feel like we've done more fun stuff this time since you've been in Vegas. Mm -hmm. how, are, how are you liking your stay here so far? Really fun, a lot of good food. Vegas is probably one of the best spots if you want to get food, Asian food. Yeah. Or pretty much any food. Yeah, cause it's cool, they have lots of people that move here from other countries and like Just for food? bring like their like their like recipes oh, and yeah, stuff. Oh yeah, yeah, it's good. Yeah. I, I really wonder on that cube watch if that's gonna take off. I would not be surprised if I see lots of cube watches at competitions. Uh, I'll let you know. I've. I mean, I've got a lot planned. Well, it's so. interesting. Remember that guy that said that he had some sort of invention? I don't want to go into too much detail and like expose it, but yeah. he pretty much had an invention to like hold the cube, right? Like, like a belt thing. Oh, yeah, I, I'd say I'll say it's in my opinion, it's definitely better than the watch idea because the watch thing is like because a normal watch it's really close to your arm, but with the cube watch, you have the entire cube which means the like actual like center of mass is a bit farther out, which kind of feels weird on your wrist, especially if it's sideways. Well, missed guess. opportunity, by more, if you're gonna do a cube watch, really put a cheap digital watch on there. Oh. Right. And it needs to have like action sound effects whenever you open it. Oh you, yeah. You hit the button and like the prongs that hold the cube release it. It should have like little cheap action sound effects, <laughs> like like those like Power Ranger like morphers did right. and stuff. It just seems like they're, they're Heavily, maybe not heavily, they're focusing on accessories. Yes. I mean, the robot yeah. display is cool, but the fact that they force it on you in the RSGM V5 for the, for the versions that most people want, right? the ball core UV, and it adds on to the price. Like That's why I think Moyu isn't understanding is don't force people to spend more money on right. something. Like Just give them the cube, whether that be huge box, a huge package that costs more to you know ship and stuff. Right. Um, or a robot, it's like, I get it, but I also don't get it. Because what made them decide to not include the robot with like the lower end models to right. keep the price cheaper maybe? Yeah. But then, yeah. There, then there's the dual adjustment that has the robot and then not the robot. Right. So what's up with that? Like it was okay to do it for that one, but not the ball four, which arguably would have been the best decision. Right. I, I just, I don't, I don't know. Listen, yeah. Well, you're on the podcast. You want to talk about it? Come yeah, on, seriously. We'll go to them. I heard a rumor. I'm going to leave it. It's not, it's, it's not a rumor. I'm going to say it's a rumor for the sake of <laughs> exposing people. Allegedly. Moyu's trying to compete with GAM. I don't know how releasing all these... Like, I don't know if they're trying to do like a, like a flood the market so it's just all you hear about is Moyu and that's their strategy. Maybe? But they're pissing people off. Yeah. Including myself. And, and creators. Yeah. And consumers. And again, it's also just making it more confusing. Mm -hmm. Like with the RS3M V5, uh, Waylong V9, changing up the names and stuff. When they made the RS3, I can't remember these anymore, the Super RS3 V2, and that yeah. was more expensive than, than the WRM V9. Yeah. It's like, what are you doing? With like, It's like a brand crisis. And then yeah. Mofang Jiaoshi exists, but now doesn't exist. 
Right. Because like, like all the RS three M's, they have the Mofang Joshi logo, but they're so what is Moyu. Yeah. It's just confusing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like yeah. it's really, really confusing. Yeah. Hopefully going into twenty twenty four, maybe like slow it down a little bit. Maybe a have like, like like two or three cube releases that are three by threes. I was okay up until the RS three M V five. It was excessive, but it was kind of like a reset, like okay, we're back to an inexpensive RS three M. I, I could live with it. Right. But then this new one just like Kind of annoyed me, which is yeah. why we had to make the cat meme video. Yeah. It's, it was so relatable. That's like exactly yeah. how I felt. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I don't want to say we're going to throw it on screen for sure, because it might be missing editing, but That's... maybe we'll throw it on screen. But it's just, oh man, you suddenly rip, want to like rip out your hair. Yeah, it is more like, what do you say about these cubes anymore? It turns nice. Yeah. It has more accessories this time, a watch instead of a robot. Here's a cube review. 45 degree corner cutting, magnets, moderate strength mostly. It's fast. May or may not lock up. Uh -huh. UV coated, stickerless. Yeah. And then it's personal preference from there. Like, yeah. get the cube. If you like fast cube, get it. If you don't like fast cube, slow it down. <laughs> well, this, that's what inspired the cube score. Is kind of this. So like, yeah. if you guys haven't seen it already, uh, it's a work in progress, and it's stressing me out because like it's a lot of pressure to give these ratings. But it's called Cube Score. Link down below, and I'm just trying to rank all the main three by threes that come out based on the same metrics, so you can have an idea of, at a glance, where they excel or don't excel. Right, and you can essentially just compare them to other cubes. So like, let's say you have the GAN 13, you can check the cube score. If you like the GAN 13, but you're looking for better something in one category or another, you can look at cube score to see if there is a cube that matches the GAN 13, but has a better stat in a certain category. And hopefully, the idea is that that cube score will help you, like, help guide you in the right direction for your next, like, speak uh, three by three purchase. So hopefully, you know, make make you get a cube that fits your style perfectly, or as close as we can be to perfectly. Yeah, I think that's a good place to wrap up. So, if there's any topics that you guys want covered in the next one, let us know. Uh, Timmy will be back in Vegas, hopefully for the four competitions next year. Yeah, maybe. So what do we say? March, March June, 9th. September, November. Yeah. yeah, so. So put, block off those whole months on your calendar. Yeah. <laughs> Come to Las Vegas, <laughs> hang out with us. Well, it's been good hanging with you, Timmy. I'll you be too. hanging with you more. We'll do this again when you come back. Okay. And yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. Okay. Hope these aren't too boring. We were debating putting them on the second channel. It's a hard decision. Yeah. So, again. How do you guys think? Second channel or main? Yeah, second channel or main. So, thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye. Bye.